Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be going over uh, my hopes for Apex Legends when it arrives on Nintendo Switch. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, like the button down below. Um, the reason why I'm doing this video is quite literally I'm out of video ideas and it's the middle of a pandemic and it's 2021 and here we are. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, this is a random video, thought I'd do it. Um, so if you join the video, like button down below. Let me know what you would like to see on Apex Legends Nintendo Switch releases in March uh, in the comments down below. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe button down below. I try to upload almost pretty much daily, multiple times a day even. So if you enjoy this type of content, I've uploaded a lot of Apex video. I think seven, by maybe that, I don't know. But I've uploaded a few Apex videos, but not con I'm going to continue to do them. So if you do enjoy the video and you're new to the channel, hit subscribe button down below trying to hit 1k in 2021. We're under halfway, uh, or not under, sorry, we're over halfway, so uh, if you want to help out the channel, it mean a lot to me. Uh, thank you if you do subscribe. So, <clears throat> my hopes for Apex Legends tend to switch. Um, first thing I want to talk about are the consoles it will come to. Um... And I'm going to bring mobile into this because technically it's, Switch has been called a mobile device for so long. I don't consider it mobile, but with the idea that Switch is getting Apex, I think we are now getting mobile Apex. I don't think that would be possible if they didn't get Switch. Um, also, other devices would be Switch Lite. Uh, I think we can all say Switch Lite is getting Apex. Um, it was pretty much confirmed because on the Switch, sorry, on the Switch Lite um, eShop store on the Switch Lite, on the coming soon, it says Apex Legends March 9th, 2021. Same thing that says on the original Switch on the eShop, if you go there now, and coming soon, it'll say Apex Legends uh, March 9th, 2021. Um... Also, another device would be the Switch Pro, which we don't know if... I don't think we know if it's legit. Um, there's been a ton of stuff coming out about it, so I think we can pretty much say it is legit. Uh, and it's going to be coming out more than likely the end of this year or next year. Uh, we have no idea. But just imagine playing Apex Legends on 4K on a portable device. That would make the best game ever and the best thing ever. Um, so, definitely Switch Pro is on number one on that list. Um, second thing, I already went over this in my last video, uh, Apex video called Could uh, Switch Apex Legends Get Exclusive Items? Uh, so, I kind of already went with stuff I'm about to say right now, but I'd like to see some special wraps for guns. Again, I don't know if Apex does that or not. If they do, I'd like to see that. Or, you know, add-on skin or uh, costumes to skins that are already in Apex. And hopefully Switch would get those for free, considering we've been through a lot of hell over the past couple months waiting for this game to release on the Switch. So, I would hope we would get that. Um... Speaking of free things, I don't think we're going to get a free battle pass out of it. I think that would be way too far and no one would be happy with it. Besides Switch players. <laughs> um, but we are getting 30 free levels. That's a known fact. Apex has announced it for the multiple delays. They decided to give us 30 free levels. But in my opinion, that's not enough. I'm not trying to be needy, but I think we definitely need more than that to make up for... This endless amount of delays, especially happened on February 2nd. It's just one of those things I think they need to do more to make it up. Uh, and hopefully uh, they do at one point. Another thing would... Now, by the way, they said they're going to have full features on the Switch. They're going to make sure it's the full... Uh, I think they worded it as full parody, if that's the correct wording. Um, so, if you've seen, uh, um, like, any, uh, like, how Apex is on PlayStation, Xbox, PC, all those features we're going to be getting on the Switch, uh, which is going to be very interesting considering Switch normally isn't that powerful considered 
compared to the PS4, even some PCs, or uh, Xbox One S and X. Um, hopefully Switch Pro will fix that and it'll be one of the most powerful out there. But I'm definitely interested to see how uh, Power Button... I'm pretty sure that's Power Button? Doesn't sound right. Panic Button! There it is, not Power. Um, How Panic Button will um, go along with that. Uh, but I'm very confident in Power... In, uh, why I keep saying Power? I'm very confident in uh, Panic Button, considering what they've been doing for Rocket League. So I'm very confident in all that. Um... Another thing I'm hopeful for are, I don't think we're going to get this, and I wouldn't expect it, just like something Nintendo-themed, and by that I mean no, not the exclusives, maybe like for a week or two only we get exclusive, like Switch players get exclusive lobby themes or music in the background or something like that, I know it'll be copyright and content creators won't be able to really have audio on the background, but it would be cool for Switch players. I mean, we've waited so long for this. I, you know, just like if you kill someone and like uh, the Mario death sound comes up or something like that, something ridiculously funny from Nintendo, just put in the game. I don't know. It'd just be funny. Um, but I do hope uh, Apex Switch doesn't get canceled again. I do hope everything. Uh, works out. Um, another thing I would hope for in Apex in general, because I'm pretty sure they don't have this already in Apex, um, would be rank skill based matching. Now, if you don't, if you haven't watched the channel, I honestly haven't done a Rocket League video on this channel at all, and I, I, I might in the future, we'll see. Uh, depending on how long I've played, if I go off for a couple months, it's different. But I'm very competitive in Rocket League. Like, I, I, I'm not the best, but I'm pretty damn good. <laughs> and with Fortnite, I played. I haven't played it as much recently because I don't like a new season. But when I would used to, I would always go full competitive as I could. I wouldn't go full sweat. I would go, you know, half and half. Um... Because I'm not going to be one of those people that just gets 100 kill bombs and just says, screw you, and then go to the next match. Um, I I can be pretty competitive in games, so I would hope Apex would introduce skill-based matchmaking, uh, especially for the new Switch players, because we're going to be coming in on March 9th in the middle of a season with people who more than likely are either done with the battle pass halfway through or whatever or have been playing for the past two years which congratulations epex for their two anniversary on today february 4th um 2021 they released their game february 4th 2019 so congratulations to them they completely deserve it um so congrats to them on their two anniversary um but I, yeah, speaking of two-year anniversary, um, thank God I brought that up, as I would have forgot. Um, I do hope the two-year anniversary stuff comes back. Not necessarily because I'm going to buy it, but necessarily because Switch players are missing out. Uh, we're missing out on that uh, because of this delay. Um, I don't really know what's being released today besides skins from, like, the first day or something of Apex, or like special, you know, whatever, uh, that's only going to be out now. I would hope Apex would be kind enough to release all that stuff that's being released now when Switch releases, only for the fact that we are missing out on it. Like, we don't get to experience that, we don't get to buy them if we want to, we don't get that choice. Um... Like, you know, I, I would hope we get that choice at one point. Um, hopefully that choice... Because let's be real, when they do a three-year anniversary thing, they're not going to release those same skins. They're going to release different ones. So I don't see a point why they would... 
release the same ones from the second anniversary, but I do hope that they release them to the Switch when it releases, just so Switch players can get the opportunity, at least, to buy those. Um, and, uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much everything. I mean, there's obviously more, but I can't think of the top of my head right now, but... And we don't know much. Like, I can't really say, you know, I want this add to the map. I don't know. I haven't played in the map. I, I, I need to play it to give my opinions of the game. Um, but those are the things I would like to see on Apex on the Switch when it releases March 9th, 2021. Hopefully then. Um, hopefully it doesn't get delayed again. Um... For the, what, fourth time now? I think it was November, then January, then February, then, yep, four. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely going to be an interesting uh, little over a month of this. Um, so, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, like the button down below. Thank you for watching. If you're new on, to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'm trying to hit 1K in 2021. So if you want to help me out, support me. Uh, thank you if you do subscribe. Uh, and again, like I said in the beginning of the video, let me know in the comments what you're hopeful for uh, Apex on Switch, what your hopes are for that in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good whatever time it is for you. Hope you're doing well. Stay safe. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next. Bye, guys.